I want to raise the issue of, uh, of tourism uh, with uh, the, the minister. And I, I, I might begin with a, a, a quote. The Turnbull government has jeopardised the growth of Australia's visitor economy and put at risk the ability of the tourism sector to become one of the nation's largest employment sectors by treating the sector as a cash cow. That quote isn't from the Labor Party, that's from the peak organisation, the Tourism and Transport Forum. Um, the Australian Federation of Travel Agents said this about the budget. Uh, AFTA is disappointed with the direction and lack of support that tonight's federal budget has delivered for the travel and tourism industry. So right across the sector, uh, this budget was met with contempt uh, by organisations who understand that tourism is, of course, one of the super growth sectors uh, of the economy, that the potential that we have uh, because of where we're located in the world with the fastest growth that the world has ever seen on growth of the middle class uh, right throughout the region. And yet uh, what we saw in the budget is a $35 million cut to Tourism Australia over the next four years. Uh, Tourism Australia have identified a return on investment of 16 to 1. That is, for every dollar that's invested, the national economy gets $16 back. So it would seem to be uh, very counterproductive indeed to be cutting back on tourism promotion. The other concern, of course, uh, that the sector have expressed is concern over the increase in visa application charges. Uh, one of the things about our modern globalised economy is that uh, consumers can get information in real time about the respective competitive measures. And in tourism, we're competing, of course, with the United States, with New Zealand, uh, with other uh, potential destinations. And uh, the government has made a lot rhetorically of uh, ensuring that Australia uh, is competitive. And yet the government in the budget uh, changed visa application charges to receive an additional $410 million increase in revenue. Now that follows the increase in the passenger movement charge uh, that was pushed through the parliament, uh, opposed by Labor, uh, because both the major political parties went to the election uh, held in July last year saying that uh, for this term of parliament, there would be no increase in the passenger movement charge. And of course, uh, the government uh, threw that out and uh, they at least have, to their credit, they have at least appointed a tourism minister. They forgot in their first term to appoint a tourism minister, uh, which uh, showed, I think, the contempt that uh, the coalition have uh, for this sector. Um, as it is, um, as it is, tourism have, in terms of the sector, well, they, those opposite actually think, and it's on the record from the uh, the new kid from where are you from, Gold, Goldstein. Uh, uh, he. Um, he, 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 raises, he raises the view that it isn't important to have a tourism minister. Well, the sector thought it was important to have a tourism minister, and that's why uh, they raised the contempt that those opposite. You can, tell, you can tell how defensive they are on the issue of tourism by how loudly they bellow. They bellow almost as loudly here as they yell at each other in their party room <laughs> meetings when they're talking about climate change. I thank, I thank the